The Feature Photography Award sponsored by Seema Rubin of the Business of Entertainment and has been won by Marcus Bleasdale for his unique pictures in uh, Nat Geo, which depicted the last of Viking whalers. It took Bleasdale over two years of living in the Viking community to slowly convince them to let there be someone to photograph their world the first time in over 30 years. And he did it for National Geographic. And here from his home in Oslo, Marcus Bleasdale. Thank you very much for, um, for giving me this award, and, and thanks also for uh, National Geographic and Pamela Chen, my editor, who's here tonight, for the support that they've given me over the years to create this uh, body of work. But ironically, this, this work came out. Um, normally, most of my time is spent in Central African republics, Central Africa generally, Congo, Somalia, South Sudan, Darfur. And and this project came out of a conversation that I had with my wife when she tried to convince me to spend a little bit more time at home in Norway. <laughs> and so um, I'm sure many photographers have had a similar conversation over dinner. And uh, I thought it was a very good idea. And not to be too flippant about it, it came at a time when we had all lost friends, both Tim and Chris, and I was trying to review what I was doing as a photographer and why I was doing it. And this gave me that time. So I immersed myself in a very small community in northern Norway. They were uh, very welcoming, slowly very welcoming. And uh, ironically, sadly, the, the, the last uh, whaling boat to be sunk by a Sea Shepherd activist was sunk by someone posing to be a National Geographic photographer. So you can imagine the difficulty I had getting back onto these boats 30 years later. But thankfully, we did. And we tried to tell a story about community. And, and I based it around a book uh, by uh, a man called Johan Boyer, who wrote in 1924 a book called The Last of the Vikings, which spoke specifically about communities and how communities were being ripped apart by the need for their families to take their children to see, most specifically their sons to see, to experience something called the Lofotfisk, the, the largest fishing exploration in the northern part of Norway. And the mothers who didn't want their children to go to sea, they wanted them to stay on land and to stay at home and to stay safe and to stay with the family. And that reminded me so deeply of our own lives and the wars that we cover where sometimes the families want their sons to go to war and the mothers want them to stay at home. And I found a, a great synergy in the communities of northern Norway and the world that most of us around these tables tonight are covering. So thank you very much for honoring this work and thank you for National Geographic for covering it. Thank you.